For five days, Britain, and indeed the world, turned to Farnborough, and we marveled at what we saw and heard. As we looked at the latest aircraft that have swept Britain to the forefront of aviation, we remembered the men behind the scenes, whose initiative and inspiration had created them on their drawing boards. And we thought of the men who flew them first, like John Derry, test pilots of the de Havilland 110. But those who watched during those five days could never know the feelings of the men whose job it was to take an aircraft through the sound barrier again and again. And perhaps as we thrilled to their daring, we almost forgot that on each and every flight, death flew with them. But those who were there on the sixth day will never forget. For it was on that day that a fort developed in Derry's black aircraft, and he and his observer flew in another. The aircraft broke through the sound barrier and then flew low over the airfield. Now the split-second disaster in slow motion. Far better not to show the harrowing scenes that followed. The heavy death roll is mute testimony of the dreadful tragedy. Almost at once, Derry's friend, Neville Duke, flew a Hawker Hunter through the sound barrier again. Flying, like progress, must not stop. John Derry was an explorer in an unknown world whose barriers can only be penetrated by such men as he. Their courage and skill have won us great victories in the skies and they will go on. <laughs>